नमस्ते आई सिमरन कौशल वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस विद ओनली ऑन भारत फर्स्ट दिस सीजन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्प एंड यूनिक मैनर बाय द एक्सपर्ट्स दिस प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड अ यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्सप्लोर योर साइंटिफिक टेम्पर एंड स्किल्स साइंस विच इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस and technology to the discussion of the previous year questions and potential concepts which are important from the perspective of competitive exams let your curiosity out and ask questions through a form whose link has been provided in the description box below do make use of this opportunity now i would like to introduce to a science expert dr tv venkateshwaran who is here with us to answer the questions Dr. Devi Venkateshwaran is a senior scientist at Vigyan Prasad, New Delhi. He is also founder of India Science Wire. So, the first question for today is So, if you look at uh, blood under uh, microscope, okay? So, sometimes you may see uh, your formation like uh, coins take one above the other okay coin uh, staked into a, a stack okay like this you will see or like this okay uh, here you can see that uh, red blood cells are in a uh, uh, stacked formation when uh, red blood cells form this kind of a formation we say that it is a rolex formation okay rolex formation is different from uh, uh, agglutination in this uh, the uh, uh, red blood cells are uh, in uh, clumped together they don't have a structure they are clumped together but here they are actually arranged into a structure like one over the top one another on the top etc etc like a stacked coin okay so there is a difference between these two they are not same okay so uh, when uh, the red blood cells are uh, uh, stacked Uh, actually that's because of the unique uh, discoid shape of the cells in the vertebrate so a yeah, yeah, red blood cell can easily sit on the next red blood cell so they are shaped like that so they can easily sit and then uh, stack together okay so what will happen so if you have that kind of a stack so then what may happen is that uh, your uh, uh, veins the uh, red blood cells may create some kind of a clogging okay so red blood uh, cells can uh, create a clogging because of uh, the uh, rolex formation so the blood flow may uh, be hindered and that can result in number of uh, uh, diseases like say for example venous thrombosis is uh, one of the uh, possibility because of this kind of a formation okay so it uh, that kind of formation may result in a number of disease that itself is not because of some disease or maybe but it will also result in some disease that's the uh, uh, 